Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's an extremely hot summer day here, but uh, today I'm going to go ahead and knock out my pins. So this will be part four of the computer scrap. Uh, so what I've got here is I've got three bags of high grade, military grade pins that should have a thicker than normal plating of gold on them. Uh, over here I've got some lower grade gold plated pins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all the high grades separately. I'll take these and do them in one batch and then I'm going to go and take all these ones and uh, do them separately. I feel like there's going to be a ton more base metals in these and so I just don't want to combine them right now. So we're going to get started on our high grade pins. Uh, so what we're going to do is get them all into our beaker and start um, dissolving away all the base metals on them with uh, nitric acid. All right, so let's get started. See these pins, they got a real good shine on them. Okay, so I just weighed out all my pins, uh, subtracting the weight of the beaker from all the pins, and so it looks like we have 1,190 grams of military grade gold plated pins. Alright, so we're going to get started with our nitric acid treatments and uh, see what kind of yield we can get out of these. Alright, so first thing, we're going to go ahead and get some distilled water poured on here. I'm essentially just going to cover it with distilled water. Maybe a splash more. Okay, right here, I've got 200 milliliters of nitric acid. I'm gonna go ahead and start dissolving away these base metals. It should start to react pretty quick. Alright, I'm going to turn it on the heat and we'll just let it cook. You're going to want to keep your eye on this, uh, just watch for a potential boil over. got to try to catch it early, get it off the heat, uh, just to not have a huge mess. Alright, see you in about 30 minutes. Okay, this has only been about 5 minutes or so and you can see we've got quite a bit of reaction. You see that really pretty blue color? That uh, tells me there's a lot of copper going into solution right now. Probably a little bit of silver in there too. But uh, you just want to watch, monitor the heat right now. You can see we've already got some gold flakes and, uh, starting to form up, coming off of these pins. Uh, you just want to watch and just uh, watch for a boil over. And we're going to let this go until we don't see a reaction anymore and all the nitric's been used up. Uh, I'm going to pour my used nitric off into here. And we're going to collect any silver that we might uh, get out of this too. Uh, so we're going to let this go until it stops reacting and uh, I'll see you then. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now. You can see our reactions kind of stopped. It's extremely hot. I turned the heat down just a little bit. What I'm going to do to try to get the reaction going again, I'm going to add about 100 milliliters more of nitric acid. I'm going to add this extremely slow because uh, this, this is when there's a real danger of a boil over when you've got already boiling nitric acid in there. Alright. My reaction's already going again. Alright, we're gonna go until this stops reacting, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pour off that liquid. Alright, so see you in a little bit. And you can see I got really lucky. 
It started foaming up real bad. Uh, looks like it's kind of settled in now, but uh, that could have been a huge disaster. Okay, we got it off of our uh, heat right now. I'm just gonna let this cool, and now uh, we're gonna get this filtered out into our big uh, beaker over here. I've got one coffee filter, but uh, I'm just gonna filter out these little gold flakes. There's a ton of them floating around now. Uh, so we're just gonna catch all these gold flakes and try to go in, and then we're gonna get the uh, reaction going again. Okay, we're just going to hit it again with nitric acid. Alright, got 200 more milliliters of nitric acid. You might notice I put a little less water in it this time. Turn it on some heat. We'll let it cook. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now. The reaction is all but stopped. What I'm going to do, I've got 200 more milliliters of nitric acid, but I'm not going to add this all in at once. I'm just going to very slowly do a little bit at a time until I get the full 200 milliliters in there. That was about 50 milliliters. I'm gonna wait and see this reaction. I'm gonna try not to make the same mistake I did last time. I just uh, see how this goes. Once it settles down again, I'll add a little bit more. See a very vigorous reaction happen. I added a full 100 milliliters last time. And uh, I'd say it got up to about here. It really was kind of scary, so. Right now you can see a lot of gold flakes forming up around the top. We're getting these base metals into solution and uh, separating it from the gold. Okay, so you can see our reaction has stopped. Uh, I'm starting to come to the realization that I don't think I'm going to have enough nitric acid to finish this today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to try to maximize my uh, nitric here. And uh, I'm going to let this sit in there overnight. Uh, I've still got it on a high heat. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Alright, I'm going to let this sit overnight and just let that nitric uh, work at all these base metals all night. Uh, so hopefully when I come back tomorrow, uh, we got a little bit more in solution. And then uh, I can finish it off with what nitric I got left. So, okay, so uh, that'll be it for today. I'll see you in the morning. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so I've actually let this sit for two days uh, You can see we've got a ton of gold foils around there. So what I'm going to do is just uh, do the exact same thing uh, Pour off my liquid right here and hit it with another nitric acid treatment. I'm hoping from letting it sit in the nitric uh, That I got uh, full efficiency out of my nitric acid in there uh, So we will see All right, let's get started I'm using the same filter I used the first time too to catch all my gold foils.
All right, got 200 more milliliters of nitrate. All right, just gonna let this cook for a little bit. Okay, so my reaction's already kind of died down. Hasn't been that long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add slowly add 200 more milliliters of nitric acid, and I'm gonna try to get this to a rolling boil. Again, gonna be nice and slow about this one. Do just a little bit at a time. And you can clearly see why. Getting a ton of pretty gold foils around the rim. Okay, so there's 200 more milliliters of nitric. Uh, so I really underestimated how much nitric acid this was going to take to dissolve all these pins. Uh, I think one thing that's really eaten my lunch is uh, a while back my Batman plate that I used to use to cover this broke on me. So uh, I didn't go get another one that I definitely should have. Uh, I think that covering this makes a big difference because some of that nitric acid will condensate back down into the liquid. So I think that's really eating my lunch right now. But. Uh, Either way, we'll get it. It's just taking a little bit more nitric acid than I thought like I was hoping it was going to take. But uh, as you can see, we got quite a bit of gold foils going around right now. So we're just going to keep doing this process. I'm going to turn this to high heat. Uh, let it boil for maybe about 30, 45 minutes. Uh, then come back and pour off our liquid. I'm starting to get a weird red color in there. Not really sure what's going on with that. But, uh, you know, a lot of times when iron starts going into solution, uh, it'll turn a red color. However, none of these were magnetic at all. So, uh, not 100% sure what's going on with that color. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to continue. I'm going to go ahead and put it back up here. Hit it with another nitric acid treatment. Go ahead and turn the heat on. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to take a lid from my five gallon bucket, try to use that to uh, cover this. I'll let that settle down for a second. Okay, I'm down to my last few drops of nitric acid. 
I don't know if you can see it in there, but maybe 50 milliliters, probably not even that much. All we're gonna do, take our lid off. We're gonna go ahead and top it off. That's it for the nitrate. So I've already got some on order. It usually takes a few days to get here, so what I'm gonna have to do is just leave this uh, sitting in the nitric acid uh, until I get a new bottle. I can uh, just continue this process. So in the meantime, so it's kind of a little bonus in the video. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I've used a lot of nitric acid, and so I've still got a lot of nitric uh, in this beaker right here. So what I'm gonna do, I've got some uh, silver that I've been wanting to refine here. Uh, some, a lot of junk silver. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw this uh, into here and use up the uh, excess nitric acid. Uh, there's probably a little bit of silver and there's pins in there, but it's probably not gonna be much. So since I have all this uh, excess nitric, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just throw in this, uh, the silver I've been wanting to refine and just do all that now. So I'm gonna stick this into my fume hood and start adding some silver into it. Let's see, hopefully there is a little bit of excess nitric in there and it starts to uh, dissolve away the silver. Okay, so we'll leave that in here. Uh, so the same amount of time, we're gonna have to leave this until we wait for our new nitrate to get here. Okay, so I'll see you in a couple days to finish this project off. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, so it's been about four days now, so I got my new bottle of nitric acid. Uh, as you can see, my silver is mostly mostly dissolved. Uh, still got a little piece in there and a little bit of debris down at the bottom. We'll get that filtered out. Uh, to make sure, I'm gonna squirt a little bit of nitric acid in here just to uh, finish off my silver that hasn't been dissolved yet. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into doing our gold. I've already poured this off. So uh, I'm just gonna hit it with just a little bit of uh, distilled water. Gonna cover the top there. All right, here I got about 250 milliliters of nitric. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just dump this on, put it on the heat, and see if we can't get the rest of this uh, this base metal dissolved out of here. should start to react right away pretty violently. I don't want to go too fast, as you can see. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the heat. I didn't get all of it in there. We're turning on some high heat here. What I'll do with the little bit that I got left here is to go ahead and add it to my silver jar, <clears throat> see if I can't get the rest of my silver dissolved. All right, 
we'll let that cook. Come back in about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, it looks like the reaction has stopped. Uh, I still got it on a boil right now. We're still getting some fumes, so we're still going good. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take about 200 milliliters more nitric acid. I'm gonna put it in my flask up here. And I'm gonna start a slow drip into my boiling acid right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the other end of this tube. Gonna stick it right in the lip. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna start an extremely slow drip. Again, we got this at a boiling point right now. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. Just gotta make sure you do not release a lot of this at one time or it will definitely boil over. See right there, that was way too much. We're gonna have to get it on a uh, extremely slow drip. Okay, I think I've got it now to a good, ever so slight drip. While this is going, you just wanna keep your eye on it. This will run away from you quick. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, our drip's still going good. We're still getting uh, quite a vigorous reaction here. So we just take our thermometer here for 204 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so we're still at a good solid boil. Looks like most of the base metals are getting out of there. All I'm seeing is a bunch of foils from the pins left. So uh, hopefully after we're done with this drip, we should be pretty close. Okay, our drip is done. Uh, so I don't see any new fume production right now. I still at a rolling boil. Let's go ahead and take the temp. It's about 219 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're gonna do now, uh, since I don't see any new fume production, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it off the heat. We're gonna let this cool and go ahead and get it filtered out. See where we're at. All right, got about 200 milliliters more nitric acid. Give it a little heat. Let it cook. Okay, I apologize about this glare here. It's really early in the morning. So uh, I ended up letting this sit overnight. I uh, gave it a couple more nitric acid treatments. Uh, this should be the last one right now. You can see there's a lot of gold foils. Uh, so I've already got my silver. Uh, my silver liquid here uh, filtered up. What we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get the silver chloride out of this one. What we got here is probably around 300 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Just going to go ahead and add it to it. You can see it drop out immediately. All right, we'll give it a good stir. All 
All right, you can see we got a ton of silver chloride here. Uh, it's not all pure silver. A uh, little bit of silver makes a lot of silver chloride, but uh, we got a pretty good bit, so we got some of our uh, silver refined here. Uh, I've got another bucket here uh, with about the same amount of liquid in it, so hopefully we can get uh, another load like this. So uh, all we're gonna do now is just wait for our copper to finish. Uh, we're going to hit this with some aquaregia and then precipitate out the gold. There's the inside of my second filter. Uh, I've gone through two now. I'm gonna go ahead and get these dissolved in aqua regia. Okay, so here I got my first filter I'll use. It's got a ton of gold flakes in there. Uh, we've already got this emptied out. So we definitely still probably have a little bit of copper in there. But that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with aqua regia. All right, we're gonna get our second filter. All right, we're gonna knock all of our gold foils down. Distilled water in there. All right, we're going to take our hydrochloric acid, move this out of the way. What I'm going to do is add about 500 milliliters. Probably more like seven or 800 milliliters. You can see it's already starting to turn yellow. We're getting a reaction right away. There's still going to be some excess nitric acid in there. We're going to go ahead and do Turn on the heat, start slowly adding some nitric. We're gonna do this and let it cook until we don't see any more gold foils. definitely had a little bit of copper left in there and due to the reactivity series of metals that is going to try to dissolve first so this might be a little bit of a process getting all the gold flakes dissolved <laughs> all right we got our silver chloride here pretty much got it uh, rinsed off about as good as I could try to get as much of that color out of the liquid as possible uh, this is about as good as I can get it. I already went through over a gallon of water trying to get this rinsed off. We're going to go ahead and press with it the way it is. We're going to go ahead and convert this to silver metal. What we're going to do, got some lye. You need to continue stirring this as you add it as best as possible. All right. What we're trying to do is convert the silver chloride to silver oxide and uh, you'll pretty much know whenever it is like completely black.
going to want to get extremely hot. See our aquaregia? Getting some gold dissolved now. That's extremely hot. All right. Now we got regular household sugar. We're going to add this in to convert the silver oxide into silver metal. All right, we're getting our silver washed out now. This is really dirty. I'm just going to keep washing it until we get a uh, at least a lot less color. Our aqua is rolling right now. However, I still see some gold flakes floating around, so I'm going to add, go ahead and add a little bit more uh, nitric acid. Okay, so I don't see any more fumes on our aquaregia. I think we got it all dissolved. Uh, the filter paper is pretty much gone in there too. We're gonna turn off the heat. As you notice, it was significantly less silver chloride in this one than in the last one, uh, which is fine. So what I'll probably do before I convert this is I still have a third batch of waste here still filtering out. Once I get this filtered, I'll just combine the two convert that into silver metal and just add it with my other pile and get it ready to uh, get melted down. But for right now, we're gonna let this cool, uh, get this gold precipitated out of here and get ready to melt that up with the rest of our gold from our e-scrap. Okay, so we got everything filtered out. Uh, one thing I forgot to show, uh, I didn't have the camera running, but uh, I put a little bit of sulfuric acid in here to uh, precipitate out any lead. So now what we're going to do is I still see some chunks of stuff floating around in there. It's definitely not gold. It's not metal. It's just a bunch of junk. We're going to go ahead and get this filtered out. And then precipitate out our gold. Alright, I'm using a filter paper this time. Got our little hand pump here. Okay, so we got it all filtered out. So what we're gonna do now, take a little stainless chloride test. And you can see, it turns dark black. So our solution is loaded with gold. So that's a good sign. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, just take it back over to our fume hood, uh, drop the gold out with sodium metabisulfate, and I'll probably let it set overnight and uh, get both our silver and our gold melted up tomorrow. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we'll start adding in our sodium metabisulfite. Gonna have to neutralize any excess nitric acid first. But you can see with those fumes, the gold's coming back out and then getting re dissolved because of the excess nitric. So we'll just have to wait until we get through all that, and the gold should stay out of solution.
Okay, looks like we got it all dropped, it looks like. Uh, it's not fuming anymore. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, uh, get this filtered up, and uh, get it ready to uh, milk tomorrow. Okay, once it's done filtering, I'm going to put it back in my fume hood and get it ready to get melted up tomorrow. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. We got our gold, our gold dust in the crucible. Uh, silver's on deck. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of uh, uh, burn this down with the map gas a little bit. Uh, we're going to hit it with the oxyacetylene torch and get it all melted. And then in the middle, once I get this burned down a little bit, I'm going to throw in our uh, gold from our other e-scrap refining videos. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, that's going to conclude my video on the military spec gold pins. So here's our finished product. This is melted together with the rest of my uh, e-scrap. See if I can get you a good look. You can see it's clearly not 24 karat gold, but probably pretty close. Uh, I will be throwing this in with my refining of... Uh, scrap jewelry once I'm done with my e-scrap series. Still came out to be pretty good, I think. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get a weight on it. Twenty-four point four three. So twenty-four point four three minus twenty point nine seven equals. So out of all that, we got. 3.46 grams of gold to equal 24.43. So I'll be honest, that was a little disappointing. Uh, I used almost uh, the cost of nitric and the amount of gold I got from this. But uh, that's okay. I mean, anytime we do this, really what I'm after is just the gold. If I can get my money's worth of gold, then I'm good with that. Uh, so, because hopefully in a few years this will be worth more than it is today. So uh, that'll conclude this video. I'm gonna melt my silver at a different time. It's too wet right now to uh, melt, so I'll be doing that at a different time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.